I'm one of his tenants in his old house at Ekute Edu Yolobe. I've been with him since 1976. And we are, he has been a very nice person to me. And he took us as if to say we are his son. Papa Taiwaki Komi has left a very fine legacy to, the, to Nigeria as a whole. Because he was the, the, the person who designed our Nigerian flag when we want to have our independence in 1960, uh, he will fondly be remembered. He is a great man. He's an icon. He lived, uh, he's, a, he's a legend. I can never forget him. And he's and, and so, also a hero. He did well. He has not been recognized enough because, as you can see, uh, I'll be happy and other will not be happy because since they have been naming, they have not named this man even a block, even a drainage. They did not name this man, they did not name anything on his name at all, which is not okay. People that they are not even do, the, uh, people that they don't even do much like what he did. You can see where they are naming on, uh, on their name. Wherever, in fact, we can't say it all. Our expectations from government is, you know, is too enormous. When he was alive, the government did nothing for him. So when he's now late, unless less we, the children, should look to the face of God. As I am personally, I don't look to the government for anything. Are you concerning me? I don't know. Because if you look at Nigeria of today, there are some Nigerians which they did nothing. They contributed nothing to the development of Nigeria, and they are living okay. I agree to it. After naming his name on behalf of a building, there should be not ordinary naming, not ordinary, na not ordinary naming his, his name on behalf of a building, stadium, road, but no, let his children fuel, gain the handwork of their father so that they will know that their father did something for Nigeria.